Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you're doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Somebody decides to remix that, I'm not even gonna be mad. See, that's what happens, Black China, when you don't sit down and eat your damn food, okay? Back to the pole you go. Shout out to E-Flat for taking time out to basically remix that Back to the Pole You Go, honey. When I tell you, when I posted on social media, it had everybody down on my Instagram page, okay? So anyways, Black China is back in the news, and she's like, you know what, bitch? I'm not going back to the pole. I don't care if Rob Kardashian refuses to pay child support. I will not go back to the pole, but I will sell this damn bleaching cream, okay? So we can all just stop calling this fool Black China now. We might as well start calling her White China, okay? It's very apparent that she's been bleaching her skin for a while. When she first came out, she had like a honey, you know, really pretty caramely complexion, and now she's just just as light and pale and I kind of knew there was some shit in the mix when her ass was running with Densia last month when I saw the video of her and Densia kicking it I'm like what these two bitches cooking up okay we all know Densia she's been out here doing her thing for a while selling her white niches bleaching cream and now she has black china involved in the fuck shit as well okay y'all go ahead and check out this video of her and Densia kicking it in Hollywood and then black china signing drunk and high as hell trying to tell folks to go vote go ahead and check this out. Can I have a nice shot, China? Please. You look good, girl. Thank you. Dr. China, what's up, sir? Getting this How are you doing? Yeah, chill. Oh, the Jenner. Chill, 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 chill. Come here. Okay, here, here. Thank you. Chill, man. Hey. Chill just the f out. out. I don't give a f if you're rolling or not. You're looking good. Uh, You're looking good. No, 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 listen. Church on the move. No, no, I'm, I'm rolling with boss. That's let me, let me, let me, let me get my word out. Get your word out. Since they want it, all right, go, go out and register vote. Get your word out. Uh -huh. What's up, church? What's listen, up, church? Mommy, I'm rolling with a boss, bitch. Mommy, here, take my bag. And take that platinum car. And take these Gucci frames. Uh -huh. Don't beat me up, Black Child. How you doing? So listen, let's you get look the look word good, out. Child. Shut up. Shut your mouth. That's Black China. So let's get the word she out. Spoke. You ready? Yeah, speak, Black China. Speak. Uh huh. So show what Church on the move. Church on the move. Go out and vote. Figure out like when is the registration. When is the deadline? It's midterm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's breast cancer awareness. My grandma dad died from that. Encourage like the women to check themselves out. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Black China. Black China. What's up, baby? I'm waiting Church for you. Church on the move, baby. Watch over the move. Church on the move. What's up, baby? Well, why the f out, bro? Your f***ing voice counts. Every voice counts. Go. A, a drunk. All right, y'all just seen that lame ass video, okay? So anyhow, since then, uh, Black China has now come out and basically she is promoting her new skin bleaching line. Um, she's working with Densia. She's now the face. She's now the ambassador. From what I heard from Rich Luck, she got paid $10,000 to promote this. And she's starting the promotional line in Nigeria, okay? You know, the fact that she's going to Africa to help promote this, and I've talked about this, you know, in the past being Nigerian myself. Bleaching is a big thing in our culture, unfortunately. I've told you guys how I have 
have aunties when I was growing up, they were brown like me, and now they're light skinned like Beyonce. They don't even look like the same aunties I grew up with, you know, and I felt the pressure too growing up, you know, I was being told I'm dark, you know, maybe you should lighten up your skin, you'd be prettier, you know, shit like that. It's really, really prominent in Nigerian culture, you know what I'm saying? A lot of folks I know use bleaching cream like it's damn lotion. And it's prominent not just in Nigeria, but in Jamaica. And you know, just, just anywhere there's been colonialism in Asia, you have it there as well, okay? So she's going to Nigeria to promote skin bleaching even more. And she knows a lot of young girls look up to her because she's famous, she's an Instagram model. And they believe that the only way they can be seen as beautiful is if they're lighter, if they bleach their skin, these doors will open up to them and they too can be IG models or singers or entertainers. This is really, really sad. And I'm just really disgusted that Black China would go this route. You know, it's so easy to say, you know, the white man has brainwashed us into hating ourselves. But I'm sorry, it's 2018. At this point in time, I'm not going to blame the white man for this fuckery. I'm going to hold her feet to the fire and blame her, okay? This makes no sense whatsoever. It's like, what are you teaching your children? What are you telling your son? That his complexion's not good enough? Granted, King is light-skinned, and granted, you know, Dream is mixed. But what are you telling them? How are they going to associate when they see dark-skinned people like myself? You know, are they going to automatically think I'm not as pretty or I'm not as good as because I'm not as light as them? You know, because of what you're pushing out there? What about their grandmother now we all know teriyaki tina's batshit crazy but she's a brown skinned woman so how are your kids supposed to react to her and people who are her complexion you know so this is just really really sad i want you guys to go ahead and try her advertisements her flyers and folks dragging her on social media go ahead and check this out All right, so you guys just saw her ads, the comments, and what everybody had to say, honey. When I tell you they have been dragging her for the past two days on social media. So now Black China is finally speaking out, and she posted a picture of her basically looking like the finesse kid, a.k.a. Kodak Black. Huh. Funny enough, okay? And then she also left this comment on her Snapchat. I'm going to go ahead and read this to you guys. Go ahead and check this out. So Black China says, So my children aren't supposed to live the same lifestyle as their father? etc etc ha as a single mother i provide for them and give them the luxury and lifestyle they deserve wow honey okay so black china is basically excusing this fuck shit by saying that she's doing this to get money to feed her children Okay, because her children had become accustomed to a particular lifestyle and that they should still live that lifestyle, which I agree with. They should live a certain lifestyle, but they can live it without you selling $250 bottles of bleaching cream, okay? There's other ways for you to get money. That's why I always say all money is not good money, you know? And I just think that it's really ridiculous, but I think the saddest part of all this that nobody's speaking about is that this product will be sold off the shelves as soon as it's released. People will be running to go and spend $250 to become lighter. The same way back when I did the video a few years back about Densia's White Nicious Cream and how folks were up in the uproar and people were upset and they were going in on her and she was ashamed to Nigerians and Cameroonians and all that other stuff, right? But what happened? As soon as White Nicious hit the shelves, she sold out within 48 hours. She had no products left. She became an instant millionaire overnight 
So to me, that's the bigger problem. You know what I'm saying? It's not even so much Black China's ass promoting this shit and Densia promoting this shit. The bigger problem is that people who are my complexion and darker, you know what I'm saying? You have some people who feel very, very inferior and they're very, very self-conscious about their skin tone because of the things that were told to them as children, because of them being teased and made fun of, because there's so much lack of representation of dark-skinned people, because dark-skinned women are always seen at the bottom of the totem pole. You know, people get mad when I say that, but you know what? The truth hurts. And this is coming from a dark-skinned woman. We are at the bottom of the totem pole. We are at the bottom of the hierarchy of women. Like, let's just keep that shit real. You know what I mean? So to me, yes, what Black China is doing is wrong. But I think the saddest part is that it's going to sell out. The saddest part is that there's so many little girls who think that that's the way that they can be beautiful. Who think that that's the way to look. You have white women out here, you know, black fishing and trying to make themselves look racially ambiguous and make themselves look darker. Because, again, people, you know, worship and follow more racial ambiguous or biracial people on social media so now they're jumping on the bandwagon as well like you know what well let me make my skin a little bit more tan let me look a little bit darker so that way I can you know make money off of this and I can get endorsement deals and then you have darker skinned black girls now wanting to bleach their skin and look lighter so that way they also can look more racially ambiguous and more palatable so, you know, as a society, we're just sick. We're just a bunch of sick people as a society. We're never happy with what God blessed us with. If you're white, you got white folks who want to be darker. If you're black, you got black folks who want to be lighter. You know, it's just sad. If you have curly hair, people want straight hair. If you have big boobs, you want them smaller because they get in the way. If you have small boobs, you want breast implants. If you got a fat ass, it's too much. You want a butt reduction. If you got no ass, you want to go get ass injections. It's just crazy. At this point in time, I just think society's crazy, but I'm very, very disappointed in Black China for even trying to promote this shit. I will now call you White China, honey, okay? You may have been able to save yourself from going back to the damn pole, Miss Black China, AKA White China. You've lost a lot of respect from a lot of black folks who were fucking with you and making excuses for your fuckery. A lot of them are just not feeling what you're doing, so I hope it's worth it at the end of the day. Like I said, all money's not good money, but if you feel like, you know, promoting self-hate and, and colorism and, and making girls feel like, you know, there's something wrong with how God made them as far as their skin tone and you want to make them more susceptible to you know skin cancers and melanoma and all that shit you know I hope you're able to sleep at night Miss Black China you know she was pretty with her original complexion real pretty caramel skin girl and now she just looks you know pale and pasty but you know again if she likes it I love it so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation once again concerning Black China aka damn White China promoting bleaching cream to not only black people in America, but black folks in Nigeria as well. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.